two clubs who represent an unbroken. Hello, a warm welcome, and this is the scene here in North London. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Tottenham Hotspur up against Manchester United. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And tidily played. Intercepting it intelligently. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Hyung Min Son plays with Dejan Kulusevski out wide. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. Luke Shaw starts with Aaron Wan Bisaka in the fullback positions. Bruno Fernandes plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And we're looking at a player who seems to be at the peak of his powers, Hyung Min Son. In what way might he contribute today, Stuart? Well, Derek, his outstanding attribute is his pace. Not just over the first few yards, but over longer distances as well. And that makes him so difficult to play against. Defenders are unsure whether to get tight or drop off. A dynamic player. Unable to get a body in the way. Anthony. Bruno Fernandes has it. Oh, great attacking play. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Kulusevski. Son. Perisic with the ball. on oh, potential danger Rebier. a very timely interception Anthony Mount now Casemiro Bruno Fernandes now with Rashford Mount Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Son. Well, not hard to read that pass. Rashford. And options in the centre. Can he get the shot off? And using his strength to shield the ball. Able to close down the shot. Dejan Kulusevski. And Hoybier with it. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Rebier. And the referee says corner kick. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. Playing it in. Well, full marks to him for that header, but the goalkeeper did his job. Now another corner following on from the last one.
Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, sadly, a bit of a tame effort, that one. And far too close to the goalkeeper. Shaw. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Not messing around with that clearance. Half time then here in the English capital. And the second half has started here at the home of Spurs. Lost possession. Mount. Well, he was one of the better players in the first half, but needed to be better still. Stuart, your thoughts? Yes, there's certainly room for improvement. He struggled to have any real impact on the game. He hasn't gotten the ball enough, and when he has, he's given it away cheaply. But I'm sure we'll see a marked improvement in the second half. As you can see, it's been really tight and neither side has taken enough risk going forward. Hopefully that will change soon and then we might get some entertainment. Indeed, two trenchant sides not giving very much away at all. Well, a decent effort, but not quite on the target. Here's a change for Manchester United. Fernandes but well, he could run onto it here just couldn't capitalise there and so 30 minutes left for play in this one Ivan Perisic promising move from Tottenham but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending And threading it forward. Didn't fool the keeper. And United will switch things around personnel wise. Number 26, Mason Mount. To be replaced by number 14, Christian Eriksen. And a short corner, let's see. Casemiro. Can they get themselves in front here? That is a tackle and a half. Sancho. On to Eriksen. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Son. Well, the Spurs fans can sense a winner coming here, but can they create one more big chance? Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Fernandes. Now Casemiro. More than decent this from United. It's going to be United's free kick. Played in there. The clearance wasn't decisive. And in the end, no damage done. Out now, then Yuma. Now, Son. Ivan Perisic. Bentancur. It is still level, but Spurs on the attack. Can they break the parity? And now Perisic. Son. And the ball is loose. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Shaw. 
Now with Rashford. Sancho. Five minutes left. Dejan Kulusevski. And oh, they've given him too much space. Poibier. Can they forge ahead? Yes is the answer. And that could be all oh, so important. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Underway once more, Tottenham have the lead. Well, the electronic board showing three additional minutes. And the free kick awarded to Manchester United. A very effective clearance. Sancho, it should be. And that is defending of the highest order. And the referee blows his whistle, it's full time here, and Spurs have prevailed. Your assessment? Well, Derek, what a good finish to the game that was. They just wore down the opposition, and in the end, they got their reward. That's a really good win for them. Well, Son, you've got to say, scaling.